Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to look at an app called Smoothie, which will let you create stop animation. Okay, so when you open up the app, um, it's a good idea to start by just watching the movie that's already created for you. So you can see there that it's, it's um, really a good idea when making stop animation to actually add things like a, an introduction which could include a countdown or, or titles um, and they're a lot of fun to do as well. So once, once you want to get started with the app you just click the uh, plus button over here that will let you create a new smoothie so you just click on to create a new one okay and I'm just gonna show you the key features of this app um, if you look up here at the top you can see that you can switch between having a camera and the video now when you put it over at the camera that will allow you to take the to take the photos which you'll use for your video and then when you slide it over to the video you'll be able to play back what you've created okay and then you can also have all of your scenes here uh, these scenes uh, can be organized however you wish um, after you've created your scenes you can always slide them around with your finger much like you can with uh, iMovie on the iPad it's important for children to really plan out their scenes it's good to do some storyboarding in advance um, to, and then think about what you want to include so for example they may want to include their introduction or their opening credits as a scene and they may want to have the beginning of their story as a separate scene the middle and the end and it's a good way for them to understand how to structure a story as well um, every time you do want to change the speed within your movie it's a good idea to change your scene other than that um, changing scenes too often doesn't really help too much so after a scene has been created you're able to switch uh, to change the frames per second here so you can see right now it's on 15 frames a second but you can easily um, just slide that around so you can slow it down or increase it and again this can be done after you've created your movie so you don't have to worry about that during the filming itself you are able to use both cameras on your iPad just by switching the camera around so you can have your front camera or your back camera this is the camera button here at the bottom so you just use this to take the photos now children will need to take lots of photos to create a full movie uh, as a general rule of thumb you'll probably need about 20 photos or so for every second of footage now that will vary depending on the speed that you set it at and then you can also adjust the onion uh, skinning capacity over here this is something I haven't actually played around with myself but for those of you who are interested in using that, um, it's available to you as well. Okay, once the movie's been created, uh, the children can give it a title. And you can add music if you have it on your iPad. If you don't have any music on your iPad, another thing you may want to consider doing is actually going, and let me just show you here. Okay, so after you've got your movie, just click the up arrow at the bottom. And you can share it to your camera roll so once it's been shared to your camera roll then it's very easy to import the movie into an app like iMovie and from there you can add things like sound effects uh, music credits and so on so that can be uh, a fun way to actually finish off your project what we like to do with our movies so you can share them to YouTube as you can see here so if that's fine that's an option for sharing and you can do it directly from the app um, if you go into iMovie, uh, you can also share to something uh, to sites such as Vimeo, which is a site that we use for sharing videos. So that's a brief introduction to Smoothie, and I will also introduce you to some other stop motion apps over the next few tutorials. Thank you for listening.